A hundred years ago, Iceland lumbered along as one of the poorest countries in Europe. Then, during the Second World War, its fishermen took great risks, sailing through minefields, dodging warships and submarines to feed the continent. Riches poured in, and the country industrialized and modernized within a couple of decades. I've traveled to the fishing village of Grindavik on the country's southwest shore to see just how far Iceland's fishing industry has come. Boats arrive here every morning, packed full of cod and redfish, and then get transported to nearby processing plants. Inside one of these plants sits the most advanced fish slicing gear on the planet. It's a machine made by the Icelandic tech giant Morel, and it uses algorithms to carve up the fillets that end up on your plate. We're gonna head into the factory floor where they've got a couple of the new Morel machines. It's people and machines working side by side, and I'm sure it's gonna smell pretty foul. I prepped for the mechanized river of death with Goodboard. She's a mechanical engineer turned operations guru who has spent the last few months overseeing the installation of these machines. So this is the machine. The one. Ferrari of fish slicers. Meet the FlexiCut. First, it x-rays the fish to spot bones, and then a water jet slices the fish with great precision. Dozens of programs run on the machine to slice the fish just as customers want. If Tony Stark wanted to make fish sticks, this would be his machine. What's the key technology behind that machine? To be able to see the fillet and cut it each time and every time the same. When you, you're doing the x-ray, what is the software doing? We are calculating exactly how to cut because you are doing a tilt on the water jet, so you need to be very accurate. And at 50 fish per minute, how quickly is it making that decision? We have less than a second to uh, take the picture, estimate, and cut. Is everybody worried that the machines are going to come take their jobs? Yeah, well, that is uh, usually a worry when you have technology replacing manual work. We say we are actually creating technological jobs instead. The reality is that humans will find it tough to compete with these kinds of machines. Perhaps, with a bit of luck, a human touch will be required for the fishy leftovers that Morel hopes to process next. There's a lot to gain still. I think we haven't even started to explore the value of byproducts of the seafood. Thank you.